Hello guys, this is Hamudi from Bilu Media. Welcome to my channel again. Today I have the new frame from SpeedyB. It's not released yet today as I am recording this video, but I think uh, it will be released once I release this video. This is the SpeedyB B35. So it's a 3.5 inch CineWoop and mine is uh, the Pro version. You have the SpeedyB B35 Pro. This means uh, I will install the O3 camera on it. And you have a version, a, the normal version, which uh, you can uh, put a normal camera like Cadix, uh, Cadix camera, uh, for example, or uh, similar uh, cameras. But uh, I will uh, build it with the O3 and the Axis C206 motors this is a uh, 6s uh, motors and this is the f4 mini the new one from speedb they actually they sent me all the components uh, to build uh, this uh, drone so thank you speedb very much and since uh, it's a 6s uh, setup i will use this china hobby line 1050 uh, battery it came with this uh, box it's really nice box and simple and here is what you have in the box so you have a strap it is really nice looking strap i really like it and uh, it has the logo the speedd logo on it we have a bag with tpu accessories So we have this mount, I am not sure what is this, it has a USB adapter, USB type C adapter. Yes, yeah, so as you can see here, it's really smart, you have mul multiple connections based on your flight controller, so you can adapt and use whatever you like from here. This part is this and here you can attach the a GPS like this and here the O3 antenna and this to have uh, easier access to your flight controller which is really nice I like this touch I like it very much because sometimes uh, it is hard to have access to the flight controller with the, these uh, cine whoops and uh, with this you have an easy access and you can use uh, whatever cable you want from here and these are this is a GoPro mount but uh, I don't think we will use it since we have a bigger one with dampening uh, I will show you in a moment and these if you have a bigger antenna uh, to put on the frame like this so you put one of these here and one of these here and you put the big antenna like this from the receiver I mean here I have some propellers, but I don't think you will receive propellers uh, with the kit. I am not sure about this. Uh, I think SpeedyB sent me for my build those uh, propellers. And here, like the SpeedyB Master 5, which I uh, made a build, a build from it, uh, you have everything in bags and labeled exactly so when you are building the frame you follow the steps here and you have everything labeled like this which is really really nice guys i really love this touch because i'm building a seven inch uh, drone and the, K, the the screws the hardware is in bags but nothing is labeled and it's a nightmare believe me it's a nightmare to find the right screw and uh, to assemble the frame after a while you will do it but this is so much easier and i really like this touch and i hope every manufacturer do the same so thumbs up speedy speedy b for this here we have the prop guards it's uh, molded plastic it's transparent i like it and it's very it uh, it's very sturdy 
it uh, feels very sturdy and I have uh, another one they sent me another one I will try to paint it with uh, um, I'm not sure the color yet but I will see we have the upper frame so the upper part of the frame which comes something like this I like this design because you attach the motors here and you don't have anything to do with this part so you attach everything in this part and after you put uh, this here which makes your life really easy so this part comes here and here you have the battery pad like this and what what is nice about this that you can mount the but the battery uh, either this way like this and you have like this and you have the strap here or if you can see you have a strap in the other side so here and here and you can mount it like this which is really really nice i love this touch so this comes like this and we have those in the box as well and you have mounts for all of what you need i mean 20 by 20 we will mount 20 by 20 but you can mount a big electronics as well which is really great this is a mount for your gopro so this drone can handle a full size gopro which is real nice i will test it with the gopro mini and this is a dampening mount for your gopro which is really amazing i didn't see many drones like uh, with this uh, with this uh, feature and you simply mount this here you have some holes those holes comes here like this let me show you and you have an opening here so you can put your screw which is really really smart design so if you can see you have the hole here and you can mount this the down plate this plate so this plate will be mounted on this and this the upper plate will be dampened here you have the camera mount which is aluminum cnc machined aluminum it looks very nice so you mount this something like this those parts are the dampening rubbers for the camera there are two the black one is a little bit harder than the yellow one so you can choose what you want to use i think i will use the yellow one and here we have another nice touch so this is the mounting plate for the o3 unit so you put it here which is really really smart so this piece uh, act as a heat sink so every uh, the heat will be dissipated through all of this uh, plate which is really really smart because as you know the O3 get uh, very very hot when you when you power it on and in this way you not only have the downside the heat will go through all the plate so you mount your DJI air unit and you have openings here you have openings here so the cable is uh, loose and not stretched here here and here in this part and this part so you put it like this and the cable has plenty of room to sit tight not to sit tight to sit good and you put this here and another great touch guys really really smart i really love this thing you have an easy access here to the o3 unit 
which is really really amazing i mean they thought it really really good look at this so this is this is a little bit uh, higher than the feet so the drone will will uh, land on these feet and this is a, a little bit higher but if you need to have access to the O3 connection to the to the USB uh, type C connection you have an easy access here without any problem which is really really great uh, I love it I really love it I, 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 I love this thing and as I said the heat dissipation will go much much better because you have this big plate and the heat will go through this all of this instead of a small part here and you have opening uh, everywhere so you have a good uh, airflow thing comes like this here yeah so it comes like this so it's even protected more and you tighten the whole thing together with this uh, TPU mount like this yeah so it is really really smart and I, I love it I mean it's amazing how they thought of every detail and everything is pieced together very very good and I love it so this one the TPU you will put here and you have the USB-C adapter here and you have as well two cables this one which is a USB normal USB the old one and you have another one which is USB type C so what you do you mount your flight controller here like this yeah something like this and you take this cable in our case it's the USB-C and you simply attach it here and after you plug it in this guy so this way you have an extension and you plug your drone in beta flight from here and you don't have to mess around which is really really nice guys I really love those details because otherwise you have you can put an adapter of course and uh, uh, an extender a USB extender but you have to find somewhere on the frame to put it in this way you have a solution built in the frame which is really really amazing PDB has done amazing frame and not because they gave me uh, this frame to review I really love their products and as well this uh, flight controller even if it is the mini one it has Bluetooth integrated in it as well so you can connect it to your phone and change the settings uh, in the field and you don't have to plug it to your computer every time which is really really nice touch so let me weight the frame roughly with with everything that comes uh, on top without the electronics just the frame so you can see so the prop guard sixty seven with this ninety six and one hundred seven and this and the, those parts as well the strap this guy the GPS mount I don't need because I'm not using GPS with this so it is roughly 132 grams without the bolts and with this guy which is a little bit heavy for the GoPro it's around 156 grams it is uh, 
over the two, 250 grams, the limit, but uh, I don't have problem with this since I have smaller drones that are below the 250. So this one will be cinematic, but still powerful enough to carry a GoPro around. So I see it uh, best used for outside uh, a concert maybe or uh, a real estate uh, property with a big garden or something like this basically outside and indoors as well so it's a big big drone it's not uh, small and uh, it's very very powerful so this is it guys uh, for today uh, i really love this frame and from what i saw in the market it has a lot to offer and it really hold against uh, other frames in this category and uh, i can't wait to build it i think uh, i will drop or i dropped already the build uh, video with the this review i'm not sure i i didn't do it yet of course but i think uh, I will. Uh, I am releasing this video and uh, build video uh, in the same time. Thank you very much uh, for watching and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.